Christina from Bake Club. Welcome to our beginner's guide to take you step by step through all the basics to help you make the switch to vaping. Vaping devices can seem daunting at first, but are really quite simple once you understand a few basics. Electronic cigarettes and vaping devices are essentially the same thing and can be broken down into two main components. The first being the power unit, which houses the battery, and the second being the tank, which holds and vaporizes the e-liquid. All vaping devices work using the same principle. Inside the tank, which holds the e-liquid, is the atomizer. The atomizer contains a wire wrapped around some sort of wicking material and is referred to as a coil. The wick soaks up the e-liquid and draws it into the coil. When activated, the coil heats up and vaporizes the e-liquid. The first generation of vaping devices are known as cigalikes because they look very similar to a real cigarette. They consist of a small lithium battery and a non-refillable tank which contains the e-liquid and is often referred to as a cartomizer. As the technology evolved to meet the demand for high performance, the look and feel of these devices changed notably. The latest generation of devices offers a highly customizable and far superior vaping experience. Starting with the most basic vaping devices in the market, you have things like the Ego Style Kits. These feature a small battery with an activation button and a basic refillable tank. Virtually all starter kits will come with a USB charger and options for a wall adapter. Do make sure that you use the correct USB charger and wall adapter to charge all of your vaping devices and if in doubt, do check your user manual. The larger battery lasts you longer. The Sigalikes tend to typically last around 200 puffs and the Ego batteries can last 600 puffs and up depending on the size of the battery that you choose. For the typical vapor that can mean anywhere between 4 and 10 hours of vaping. The batteries will come in a variety of sizes ranging from around 400 milliamps up to about 1300. The higher the milliamp number, the more charge your battery will hold and the longer it will last. But the larger capacity batteries are also larger in size, so that's something to bear in mind when considering the size of your setup. The second major advantage is the refillable tank with its much improved atomizer. It offers much better vapor production and enhanced flavor. The larger capacity of around 1.6mm means that the typical vapor can use the device all day without running out of e-liquid. These tanks are called clearomizers because, well, they're clear and they allow you to see how much e-liquid you've got left. The Sigalikes offer a very limited range of flavors and nicotine strengths, but the range of e-liquids available for the refillable tanks is far greater, but we'll cover e-liquids in a different video. The basic clearomizers are disposable. They can last anywhere between about two to six weeks before the performance of the coil starts to deteriorate, so you'll need to replace the tank. The basic kits are a great way for you to get into vaping. They're really inexpensive and they do a much better job than the Sigalikes. But you may find that you still want more performance. Some people prefer stronger throat hit or more airflow, so you might be more interested in something more advanced. <laughs> More advanced batteries allow you to control the power output. Higher power output means the coil gets hotter. This has an effect on the temperature, the vapour production, the throat hit and the flavour. So I'll demonstrate the difference between the low power and the higher power. So right now we're at 7 watts. And this is at 30 watts. getting a hell of a lot more vapour production as well as much better flavour. Because everybody's taste is individual, people prefer vaping different flavours at different temperatures. The power output is normally altered by controlling either the voltage or the wattage using a mechanical dial or the digital display. The long and short of it is, the variable wattage provides a slightly easier and more consistent vaping experience. However, due to the more complex chips used, the variable wattage devices do tend to be slightly more expensive than the variable voltage devices, so this is something to keep in mind when choosing your setup. The more advanced tanks offer a replaceable atomizer, so instead of disposing of the whole thing, you simply unscrew the coil and replace it. They are also made of more durable materials, often stainless steel with Pyrex glass. This not only makes them last longer, but it also gives you a much better flavour production. The continued development of the tanks also allowed for even more innovative features such as the larger capacity, the rotatable drip tip and the adjustable airflow controls. 
So the right setup for you will be determined by a balance of how much money you might be prepared to spend to switch from tobacco and the level of performance that you might need to help keep your cravings at bay. Some people enjoy the endless customization options that vaping offers, whilst others just prefer a simple plug and go system. So in terms of performance, you're far better going for something with a variable power output and if your budget permits for it, ideally something with a variable wattage. Because the tank is so important to vapour production and flavour, we do recommend that you go for something with a Pyrex tank and adjustable airflow, but do make sure that you choose one that's compatible with your battery of course. And bear in mind that the majority of the products are interchangeable, so once you've got yourself a basic setup, you can gradually upgrade it with new batteries and tanks until you find that setup that works for you. So I hope this video has given you a great insight into the world of vaping, and perhaps made it seem a little less overwhelming. Whatever setup you do choose, good luck and welcome to the Vape Club.